here's the thing. I don't even consider this uh, a song that's bringing me out of my quote unquote music retirement because it's not about me. This is a pro protest piece. This is a protest moment. 100% of the proceeds from all the single sales, domestic and international, is going to the families of George, Eric, Trayvon, Breonna Taylor. Um, and you know, they will never see another birthday, never be able to see their kids, family, parents, loved ones, and trauma is trauma, but to have it filmed and to have it be repeated every day on the news, all over social media, and you just woke up on a Wednesday and got the phone call that your son or your daughter was murdered. Um, I don't think any of us will ever understand what those levels of traumas are, especially while looking at the footage and realizing that this could have been avoided. And you know, what's really compelling about the, everything being filmed now, it's like, it's all there. It's, we're, we're an image driven culture. And Dion touched upon, it, touched upon it yesterday. I think you did too. It's just like, you know, not to look at 846, for example, it's just some music video. You know what I mean? It's art. It's, 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 it's a piece of, it's supposed to grab you. And so like, um, and you talked about how just like you called, you called him, you went to, I think it was it, you went to Atlanta. Is that right to film it? Yeah, brought him out from uh, Sacramento. Um, did a four hour layover, came into Atlanta. We had a crew of about a hundred people at the height of COVID. Thank God no one caught the virus. And we were just determined to get this done. So we knew that we were working on something that was much bigger than us. Um, and my biggest motivation other than the families and what they're living through, this motivation was who are white, racist, wrong to say. But for those people who don't have any black friends, Latino, Asian friends, no type of diversity, inclusion, or ethnicity energy that would allow for them to say, we care about what y'all are dealing with in a real way. <laughs> the story of my life has been, I'm not a part of the LBGTQ community, but I care about the things that they're struggling with. I have a heart for their traumas. I got a, I got a heart for homophobia that would have somebody to get murdered or killed or discriminated against. Um, I have a heart for the Jewish community and I'm not Jewish, but there's been a spike um, in murder, um, brutality, um, and uh, overall crime towards the Jewish community, anti-Semitism. I'm not Asian, but I have a problem and I feel a way about the amount of Asians that have been dealing with being called names, being beat up, being discriminated against, or having people to say, oh, he's Asian, he's probably got the coronavirus, not letting him in the backseat of Ubers and Lyfts and not hiring them. Um, we're all feeling it all across the board. So as I speak to Black Lives Matter, I'm a black man saying Black Lives Matter, but I could say that I carry the sensitivities and energy of all people and all communities. And I hope that all of this stuff stops. Is it, you know, in your opinion, like are people with your power, with your platform, you know, you know it's easy to post a, you know, a quote or a tweet or a meme on your Instagram saying, yeah, I'll do this, support that. But like, that's, you know, that's really never enough, right? It's just like with, your, with, your, with what you're doing with Legendary, 
like you said, it's not about the music. It's not about coming out of music retirement. It's like, you're trying to like, you're obviously trying to stir something up in people, touch them in a way. Like, uh, I mean, like, I don't know. Is there, are you like happy with, you know, your fellow, like, you know, celeb celebrities, are they doing enough? I mean, what, where do you see it? Do you see, are you afraid that it'll just kind of roll on and people just kind of, you know, not, you know, like, is it being addressed effectively in your opinion? Cause I mean, like, I know what you're doing. But I don't, I don't, I don't think people are doing enough. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know that people are doing enough. Um, but I can understand that, you know, if someone in Hollywood, director, actor, that's not black, put up Black Lives Matter, and all of a sudden it's like, wow, I wanted to speak to and address what's going on in the world. All of a sudden they're all over the blogs and media and they're getting backlash. Um, so it's, it's, uh, there's landmines out there. and. You know, in the Bible, it speaks to no good deed shall go unpunished. And, you know, hey, guys, I would love to. And then, boom, 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 you know, you just get attacked. So I thought about it. I think uh, that's a part of some of my biggest stresses tied into doing this or making this statement. Um, but the families that are standing with me from the victims that are highlighted in this video, along with attorney Benjamin Crump has given me a level of solitude and peace um, that people will never understand. Um, because it's one thing to release it and not have them to support you or have a problem with it. It's another thing to release it knowing that they're standing right here with me and I'm standing with them. So I've never done anything like it. And I don't think I'm ever going to do anything else like it. Um, but I do know that God is using me and these images and Dion Taylor and all the editors and everybody involved to make this statement. You know, without getting like hyperbolic with it, but like, would this be, would you consider this be, to be your most important work? Or like up there? You know? You look I think that would I, I think I think that would be for you guys to decide. I I'm not this is not about me. <laughs> um if there's articles that say this, he, he has never mattered in music and right this I don't care. I just want I just want the families to get justice for the murders of their their babies. One thing about Dion, it's just like, I know, you know, directed Black, Black and Blue. I mean, like, was there, outside of working with him previously, was there something else about him? I mean, obviously you guys like jived or something like that. You guys got like, there was, you guys were, was there other things that he'd done or said that sort of like, you knew that he was the right person for the job? Or like, how did that kind of- Yeah, I mean, Dion Taylor is a brand new director who just got on on this level. He's been directing for many years, but his first feature film ever was um, Black and Blue. Uh, for a studio, everything he's done before that was independent. And um, I just love him as being a vocal, outspoken person that speaks up and speak out. Um, and I just appreciate his audacity. And, you know, there's a lot of music video directors out here. There's a lot of filmmakers, but not everybody walks that walk. And me knowing that he does, and, and do it on such a passionate level. It's not expected of him to do that when he just got on. And so you have to have a particular fire and audacity in you. And so I was very honored that I reached out to him and asked him to do this with me. And he jumped on a plane, which was his first flight in 10 months, came to Atlanta and did this. Um, and then one more thing about the song, like, uh, if you want to talk about, I guess, like, uh, some of the lyrics, if there's anything about the lyrics or about, like, you know, the process of, like, because it is, like, you know, it's loaded. So, like, you know, like, what, was it something that just called came out one sitting? Was it something where it's just, like, what, you had to beat it out? Like, what was that? We did this for Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Eric Garner, Ahmad, Trayvon, and, um, 
if I were to go into what the process was, who's all involved and what happened every step of the way, I feel like I'd be talking about me. I just need the world to know we did this on behalf of these families because justice, justice does not seem like it's anywhere in sight right now.